Juan, first of all, thanks for being here. It's a pleasure to interview you. You participated in a panel, in a session uh, on real estate asset repurposing. How is your company preparing to meet uh, the growing demand to retrofit projects in the context of digitalization and the green economy? First of all, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me to be part of the of the panels here in, in the GRI. And about the panel that we had today, uh, our experience is that um, we have a start or our data center from the beginning, you know, from the we break ground and build, the, the design the data center for that particular piece of land and. Uh, and that was like uh, the first one, like uh, 14 years ago, and the other one uh, 10 years ago. So what we have been doing is making sure that we have the proper infrastructure to comply with the service level agreements that we have with our clients. Uh, as far as our data centers are certified, uh, one in design and the other one in design and construction for the Uptime Institute as a tier three, we love to, to be very strict on complying with those uh, uh, level agreements that, that we have with our clients because otherwise uh, the penalties are very high. So it's very important to do it. And also because our clients need uh, that type of uh, refurbishing of, uh, or repurposing the, the, the data centers, the equipment, the technology changes from day to day, not from year to year. So we have to update uh, uh, some well. Uh, we have a budget of uh, in, in our operating uh, time to time, a, a budget of, of, of the operation and maintenance in order to do that. So we try to maintain our data centers updated uh, in order to Uh, make sure that our tenants also still there for many times. Really, we have been very successful with that because uh, all of them since the beginning are there and they have been, uh, uh, you know, not interested in moving to some other place. So we're very happy with that. How is Zona Franca Bogota positioning uh, to attract investment in data centers as a core business, uh, especially in light of the increasing demand for digital infrastructure? Well, as you know, free trade zones are areas that are uh, fenced all around. So it has uh, lots of security. That is one of the issues that is very important to the data center uh, companies. And also we are aware that the main uh, raw material that these type of uh, companies need are or is the energy, the power. And what we try to do is to make sure that always we have the best service and the best capacities for those data centers. Uh, at the beginning, we had a 10 megawatts capacity uh, electric grid, and we had to upgrade it to 15, and then we asked the, the power company to to put another entry of uh, energy to our, to our park of another 15, mega, 15 megawatts. So that give us uh, 30 megawatts in total that are providing the energy to the complete park. And the ones that are the higher consumers of our parkers are of course the data centers. And that makes the power company very happy because you know they have all the year round uh, uh, consumption and it's a consumption that is very important for them because it's very uh, transparent you know it, it's always the same uh, it is not uh, like it's, it's, uh, happens with the industry that whenever they turn on the machines they have peaks and have a lot of problems with the substations and 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 things like that and so uh, because of that Uh, we have done uh, another agreement with the power company in order to connect to a higher level of service. Uh, at the moment, we are connected to 34.5 k kilowatts, and now we're going to uh, connect to the 110 
thousand kilowatts. So um, that's gonna give us a service with a very stable power, but also with a lower tariff. So that's something that is very interesting for this type of uh, companies, uh, data center companies uh, that are interested in installing or that are already installed because they're going to be also uh, beneficiaries of this, uh, of this type of things. Also, we always look for having more connectivity. Actually, in Colombia, there is no another place more be better connected than the Bogota Free Trade Zone. We have uh, five uh, submarine cables that are arriving to our free trade zone and more than 16 uh, wide band uh, companies that provide uh, uh, connectivity. So uh, that's, those are things that we always are uh, aware of and, and we work uh, a lot to be to, and to have the proper infrastructure to make them easy to arrive and install in our free zone. Also, we work on capacities. We, we train people uh, in order to make sure that the manpower is, is there. That was w one of the issues that w was brought in, 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 in the panel because it's not easy to find the proper capacities for that. And we have a company that runs our data centers and, and in, in that company, we train people to maintain the possibility of having the proper uh, manpower for, for the operation of the data center. So all those things makes it uh, interesting for, for data centers to be there. And also the ecosystem of the free zone, you know, the restaurants, hotels, yeah. everything that, you know, uh, the people needs in order to, to be happy with benefits inside the free zone. Perfect. You mentioned the power energy this is vital for data centers and when it comes to construction and delivery risks beyond power and energy capacity what have been the major challenges uh and how are you facing these challenges in the recent years well as as was mentioned in the panel the supply chains of the equipments are very very difficult uh, the times has taken you know very long from six months it has gone to 18 or 24 months, depending on the type of equipment. Uh, so you have to, to plan in advance all your uh, maintenance and the modifications of your, the, the type of equipment that you, that you want to have in order to provide a good service. So you have to plan a lot in advance. Uh, that's, that's the way we do it in order to make sure that uh, all these uh, reconfigurations that we're doing in our data centers to maintain it updated are in place in the proper moment. Perfect. Uh, my last question, do you have plans to expand uh, or the priority is to consolidate in the markets you already are? Well, actually in the, in the free trade zone, uh, we have uh, lots of operations. Most of them are dedicated to the edge computing uh, side, as, we meant, as was mentioned also in the panel. There are cloud, there are edge, and there are hyperscalers. In Colombia, there is not much a, a possibilities of having hyperscalers. So we decided to uh, develop a new free trade zone park dedicated particularly to hyperscales. And we made an alliance with the power company, Enel, from Italy. And they are our service providers in the region that we are. And uh, we're going to have uh, uh, this new free trade zone in the next few months uh, with a lot of power, with 340 megawatts of power. And uh, we're already talking to some companies that provide services to hyperscalers to establish there and, and have this new service for, for the region. Because if you find and you look uh, between Mexico and Chile, there is no hyperscaler services. Uh, I don't know why. And thinking in advance or in account that Bogota is a city that is 2,200 uh, uh, meters above sea level with an average temperature of 13 degrees Celsius, 
that give us an advantage on, on how we can use this ambient temperature in order to, to cool the, the white areas inside the data center, uh, giving a lot of uh, uh, benefits to, yeah. to those companies. So uh, the usage of energy is lower. The bill monthly reduces a lot, around 25, 30% due to that. And, and the possibility of having a dry cooling and free cooling and the type of equipments to reduce the, the, the heat inside the, the white areas. So um, we believe that these type of projects uh, are going to be very well uh, accepted by the market, you know, by, by these companies. And about power, not, not only having the power, but also with a very good tariff because uh, we have a, a substation that is connected to the national grid of energy uh, that a tension of uh, 220 kilowatts. Uh, so that's, that gives us the opportunity of having a very, very stable uh, supply of energy, right? And also with a, with a very good tariff because we don't have to pay distribution. We, we pay generation and commercialization of the, of the energy. So for the companies that are established there, for sure, that's going to be a lot of benefits. Lovely. I wish the best yeah. in your projects. Well, we hope. We are very excited. Uh, as I mentioned in the panel, we have presented uh, the project to, to the whole institutions in the country, ministers, uh, national departments, uh, local uh, authorities, everyone, and everyone is, is helping us in order to make it through as soon as possible. Nice. Thank you for the interview. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks to you. Thank you.